When we came over Dublin, the pilot in the plane took us up O'Connell Street. Oh, no, you're joking. He, flew over. Over. he took us up O'Connell Street yeah. and he tipped the plane up sideways so we could see all the crowds waiting for us. Jeez, it wasn't Ryanair anyway. No. <laughs> Pay extra for that. Extra money. Uh, was good fun. Sorry, Charlie, uh, that's amazing, fun. amazing. It was good fun. Now, where they gave you the keys to Dublin, did they? I never got a key. Oh, Jesus, the bastard. Freedom of the city, no. Well, it was, it was the, the, the Lord Mayor. Yeah. He, we, he gave me a, a beautiful cut glass. Yeah. And then he, uh, they, they made me Freeman of the city of Dublin. Right. What does that entitle and you to? And I home? said to him, can I bring me uh, sheep over the bridge? Yeah. And he said, no. <laughs> Did he organise any free fanny for you, Tom? I'm not going to answer that. Jack, we had Cascarino on, right, recently enough, and he was telling us about what you said to him when you found that he'd snuck a bird back to his room. Can you remember what you said, Jack? Tony. Tony, he had a bird I in his room. I never caught Tony with taking a bird back to his room. There was a couple more I did, but oh. it wasn't Tony. And Whoa. I'm not going to tell you who it was. Well, Tony told us it was he, that he, you caught him, and he said, he, this is what you said to him. Have a look. Have a look at this. I met a girl, and we've ended up going back to the hotel, and yeah. the fire alarms have gone off, and I've hid her in a cupboard, and <laughs> I've, I've basically gone from one room to another. And I, honestly, I didn't do, didn't do anything. Right. Uh, because I, I literally, we had to, I had to get this girl out of the hotel. And, uh, of course, Big Jack the next morning called a meeting and said, right, who had the bird in the room? Oh, Jesus. Ooh. And the press are just over about 50 yards away. And Jack's, uh, I'm saying to, to Jack, like, you know, thinking, I've got to face him, but I don't want the press to hear him. Right, right, right. So he's told everyone to go and get warmed up. So I've took my chance to go in front of Jack and said, Jack, oh, and he's gone, you daft bugger, you've, you've been here, you're injured and you're on international duty, I should send you home. And I'm trying to keep him quiet because right. of the press. Right, he's loud though. And he's getting louder and loud, louder yeah. saying, you're a disgrace, you're letting everyone down. And I'm saying, I'm sorry, Jack, I promise I won't happen. So he's going, oh, go on then, go on then, go on, just piss off and warm up. And as I've gone to warm up, he's grabbed my arm. He went, did she have big tits? <laughs> so, Good man, Jack. <laughs> so, I haven't finished yet. So I said, well, to be honest, Jack, I, I don't really know. I, the the alarm me went, oh, I do love big tits. <laughs> he said, you did, said did you like big tits, Jack? Did he? <laughs> oh, he's in trouble now. Well, he's in trouble now. You, you've, got, you've got to remember, you've right. got to remember that I'm getting on a little bit now and I, and, and I don't pick things up as quickly and as easy as, you, as I used to. All right. However, I, rem I don't remember at all Tony breaking a rule. Oh, right. You've seen he's a he knew he would get punished if he got caught and he didn't get caught. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have punished him. But how did you... <laughs> How did you deal with the sort of the, the messers, you know, messers. And the, like the three amigos and in, 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 you know, where Jason McAteer and, and, and Phil Babb Gary and Gary Kelly, Kelly and, and all that, yeah. them scallywags. How did you uh, keep them under control? Because they were young lads with, well, hormones racing. They all knew how far they could go. Right. I mean, they all know me and they all knew how far they could go. And they knew that if they went over the mark, they would be punished. Now, nice. the only punishment that I could give to them was I wouldn't call them up again. Oh, right. right or the yeah. next time, they or for like certain that. round of games, and I wouldn't bring them in. Come here, what was Roy Keane like now? What was he like? Was, was, he, was, Roy he, was, fine. was he stubborn back then, was he? Roy, Roy is a young lad, and that was good, a good player for us. He just came through into the team as I got it, and he went away. We went to America, and uh, we, we, we... He played... And he was a very good player for us, and he, well, he never said player, very much. He never said very much. Didn't, I Put never had an game. argument with him in any way, shape, or form. Didn't bring any birds back. It amazed back. me when he fell out with Mick. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but what, I mean, there was no argument that he could be listened to. Mick was the manager. He was the one that made the rules. He was the one that Roy Keane should have obeyed. Mm. Gotcha. Fair and enough. Roy, and Roy Keane was out of order in what he did over there. Yeah. And the person that got punished for it was Mick, Mick McCarthy. Right. Mm. Did you really fall asleep when you met the Pope? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, I, well, well, you don't fall asleep when you've met the Pope. Oh, you right. fall asleep. Like, we, we, when we, he starts I was going seats. 
Yeah. We, we, had a, we had Mick Byrne, who Mick was a very devout Catholic lad, he is, yeah. you know. And Mick yeah. said to me one day, he said, uh, Boss, when we get to Rome, you'll get us in to see the Pope, won't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I said, Mick, if we get a room, pal, I'll get you in to see the Pope, because yeah. that was where the final was going to be played, and I didn't think we had a prayer of getting to yeah. the final. <laughs> and anyway, we got to the quarterfinal, and we got to play Italy in Rome. Yeah. Right. And, and he came to see me three days before, and he said, Ah, Boss, you did promise to get us in to see the Pope. And when we got there, I thought it would be just a reception. All yeah. right. But the, 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 the audience chamber in Rome holds 8,000 people. Ah, uh, Jesus, you just sit through immense. mass. It's bigger than a football ground. And all of a sudden, somebody said, shh, the Pope's coming. Sure enough, everybody started to go, shh, quiet, shh, quiet, shh quiet. Pope, Pope. And he came through the door at the back, walked straight to the, 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 the microphones in front, blessed the audience, and read his lesson in Latin. Oh, yeah. For about 15 minutes. So in the middle of that, Jack, you were... <laughs> no, 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 well, not, not yet. All right. Not yet. And another bishop got up and read it in Portuguese for oh, 15 Jesus, minutes. There were six bishops got up and repeated in six different languages what yeah. he had said. And I found it very hard to stay awake. Yeah. <laughs> as you would. And I sat, as you would, and I, I sat there and I, and I yeah. thought, I'm going to get out of order here, because there was a bank of photographers up there. Yeah. And I thought, I'll, it'll just be like the thing, I'll nod off. Yeah. Somebody will take a picture, it'll be on the front page of the news of the world, other people. Right. Jack Charlton visits the Pope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I found it very hard to stay awake, and I tried, and I tried, and, and I found if I watched the Pope, it helped. Yeah. Because he used to sit through this three or four times a week. Yeah. All right. And he sat there, John. Yeah. How do you sit? <laughs> but every 15 minutes, right on the nail, he would look up and he would bless the audience. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I must have just fallen asleep. You know what it's like when you're driving a car sometimes yeah. and you're going yeah. along the road and suddenly you go... Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, it was just like, and as I woke up, the Pope was on the third bit of his blessing. Yeah. And he was looking right at me. Oh. And he had his hand in the air and I thought he was waving to me, so I wouldn't wave back. <laughs> Good That's fun. That's embarrassing. Right. It, was, it was good fun. It was new to me. See, I'm not a Catholic. Yes. But it was new to me and it was good and it was. The lads loved it. Now, listen, you managed Ireland for nearly 10 years, making Ireland one of the best international teams in the world. But why did you, why did you decide it was time to move on? Back me? in 96. Yeah, yeah. Why, did you, why did you pack it in? Well, it was time to move on. I, I told them at the FAI office that we had to play Holland in Liverpool. Right. Yeah. And I said, if we, if we don't win the game, we don't get through that, I will be retiring after the game. Gotcha. Yeah. Come here, do you still do the hunting and the fishing? Because you were famous for that as well. I do, I do the fishing a lot. Yeah. I've got a house in Mayo and in Ballinar. Good man. Very good. And I, 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 I've Wait. got access to all the rivers round about the place. Great. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. shot a man just to watch him die? <laughs> That's a, that's a stupid thing to ask. I mean, I, I'd, I'd never dream of shooting anybody. That's why I'm a good shot, because you, you don't ever cause accidents or have accidents. Oh, you right. do things in the correct way, and you're instructed in... It's, it's, it's not something that you can buy a gun and go out and start shooting at people. It didn't work that way. That'll learn you, Rog. No. Come here, do you still no. do the fishing videos, though? No, if we put you out there... Oh, Jesus, we're on the wrong side of Jack now. We asking don't want that. Now we have to do asking, Jack, now. asking a question like that, Jack, I might do. do you still do the fishing videos? Uh, they're on sale. I mean, pe people, people still do. come to me and say, I bought one of your videos. But I did them, what, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. Well, look, we've you an idea. We should do another one, though. We've we an idea now. Because we've had an idea, yeah. yeah. We thought that maybe you could combine your, combine your fishing with your love of big tits. Have a look at this. Like Cascarino told yeah. us. Big, 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 big bites big and big bats. Big bats. What do you think of that? What's huh? that? Put my glasses on. Yeah, yeah, put your glasses Have on. Have a look at that, Jack. Jeez, you don't really wet. need glasses to see it, but there you are. <laughs> 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 Who put that on there? You invented it. What? Oh, no, it wasn't us. Oh, God, no. No, 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 Oh, God, have you? She's here and she's watching that. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. And it, and it wasn't me. 
No, 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 I do like them, but not that. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what? It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Yeah, Thank you very much. Has. Yeah.